Hello, good morning, and welcome to Marion Local High School. We're today on WOSN. We've got a fantastic non-conference volleyball matchup between the visiting Ottawa Glandorf Titans and the homestanding Marion Local Flyers. I'm Garrett C. Ryan, joined alongside Dave Bowen. We've got all the action for you here from inside the hangar, and Dave should be a good one here this morning. Garrett, excited to be your wingman this morning. You're right. WBLMAC non-league action. It's going to be a battle. Both teams looking to continue to improve. Marion Local with the undefeated record of six and zero. Coach Dixon very Dirksen very pleased with her team, the leadership and maturity they have shown here in the early going. And Coach Hohenstein from Ottawa Glendorf looking for consistency. The Lady Titans bring a record of three and four into today's match. Consistency, especially defensively, and that serve-receive category, a bugaboo for a lot of teams if you're fighting to get over the top with your record, get above 500, serve-receive, so critical in the game of volleyball. You mentioned that Marion Local 6-0. They've got wins over Perennial Power, Jackson Center, and then wins over bigger schools like Salina, Lakota West, Beaver Creek, and Chaminade Julienne. So off to a good start are these Marion Local Flyers, and they will serve to begin today's match as Maya Eckstein, who leads in aces for the Flyers, sends it away. Melman, the cross-court pass, swung on by Marley Buttlemeyer, kept alive by Marion Local. They'll dump it back over, dug out by Carly Croft as the libero. A big swing. Caitlin Kimmett gets the first point and the kill for Ottawa Glandor. Caitlin Kimmett in talking with Coach Hohenstein, the leader, the rock, and one of the most improved players on this squad from last year. She's the lone senior starter. They revolve around her. She makes her presence known early on. Starters for Ottawa Glandor today, Sienna Fry wears number 20. Number 24 is Caitlin Kimmett. 23, Madison McKee. 21, Greta Liebrecht. Marley Buttlemeyer wears number 11. Carly Crawford is the libero wearing the white jersey for the Titans. And Addison Bellman, the setter, wears number 14. Flyers will punch it away. And a quick set to Caitlin Kimmett and her second kill of the match quickly. Marion local starters today. Grace Moeller wears number 14. Maya Eckstein wears number 13. Eckstein, I beg your pardon, wears number 13. Brooke Evers, number 9. Rachel Keeter, number 22. Natalie Evers, the setter, number 20. And the libero for Marion Local wearing the blue jersey is Ava Unrast today. Caitlin Kimmett behind the serving line. Two kills already in this match. Second on the Lady Titans squad coming into today's action. There's a big swing from the far side from Grace Moeller with the kill. We mentioned Kimmett averages two and a half kills per set. Gets the first two points of the day for Ottawa Glendorf as we're knotted up at two on the ultimate outdoor scoreboard. Grace Moeller leads Marion Local in that category of kills and has 49 on the year now after that recent one, the possession before. Grace Moeller cuts it just down the line. Got the yellow stripe. She gets the inks. Gives Marion Local a 3-2 lead. Moeller will punch it away that time in the middle of the floor. Tough to handle. As the Titans get it back over, as Carly Crawford rolls it over. Pass to the near side, blocked at the net after the swing from Addie Eich. And the Flyers find the back row for the kill. Nice kill by number three, Addison Eich. Pick up the point for the Lady Flyers. Marion Local, now a little bit of a run. A 4-2 advantage. A little top spin on the serve. Bellman. The back set, Fry climbs the ladder and drops it to the floor. Sienna Fry with her 73rd kill on the season leads OG in that category. They have 178 coming into today's match. And Sienna Fry, she comes from the left side. I know scouting report and everything, you know that's what she's doing, but you still don't see that right. very often as a blocker. You have to be able to adjust. And having that power that she has with it as an ace dropped in the bucket. A spectacular serve by Maya McLaughlin. She's third on the team in that category of aces. That's her seventh. Actually tied for second. Six coming into the today's match. Swing blocked at the net by the Titans. Flyers able to get it back between the antenna. Bellman back sets Fry. It's dug out by the Flyers. Cross court pass from Unrats. Trying to get up and over Camp. And we now see the Titans with the 5-4 advantage on the ultimate outdoor scoreboard. Both teams coming out with good focus and determination. No Saturday morning hangover at no. all. They're ready to get after it. Off and serve into the back row. Unrats the pass up ahead from Evers. Swung on the far side. 
by Keeter. Blocked at the net. Evers back sets Keeter into the back row. Got it inside the line. Decision to let that one go defensively for OG. It's in, as you said, give the kill to number 22, Rachel Keeter. Titans thought it was going to go long. It didn't. And an unrasp will serve it away. Tied at five. Bellman will chase it. Cross court pass to Ella White. Dug out by Marion Lord. But blocked at the net. A great block by Madison McKee right in the center of that tape. And she drops it to the floor. Give the lead back to OG. Madison McKee picks up her 13th block on the season. That ties Sienna Fry for leadership in that category. 32 blocks as a team for OG. Sienna Fry serving. Stings it just over the top of the tape as Evers. The center pass to the middle. Swung on by Marion Local. Kept alive. And a kill for Ella White from the far side. So we've seen the three big hitters all come through for OG here early on. Ella White, third on the team in kills with 22, picks up her 23rd right there. Fry will send it away. Into the back row. Unrass to receive. Evers, cross-court pass, swung over. Dug out by the Titans. Fry from behind the 10-foot line. Off a flyer. Unrass the pass up ahead. Flyers able to get it back over. There's Bellman. The cross-court pass. White takes a cut at it, kept alive. Great rally from both sides as Fry digs. Bellman tries to dump it in the campfire. Unrast is there. Evers, back set, swung on. Kept alive by the Titans. It's tipped over. Marion Local gets it over in one. Tried to be slammed to the floor. Unrast, swung over, kept alive. Bellman, the far pass, and a little long, and a point goes to Marion Local. Great volley, and those are momentum points right there. A long volley, and Marion Local able to come away with the point with the kill shot going long for OG. Cuts the lead to one. You mentioned those momentum points. that you like, The longer it goes, the more you know how important that point is. The Flyers able to get it. Unfortunate miss hit on the serve. Yeah, you basically are looking at return on investment right there. Yeah. How much you play for that point, you want to earn it. Pass up ahead after the serve received by the Flyers. Bellman tries to put it right to the floor. It does. Trying to catch the Flyers. Nap and she did. Great play by Addison Bellman, the junior. Well, she's the setter for Ottawa Glendorf. She's got a... 139 assists, but right there she goes for the point and earns it. Evers does the same. Anything you can do, I can do better. As Natalie Evers puts it right in the middle of the floor, and that cuts the bleeding just a little bit as Ottawa Glandorf had opened up their largest lead of set number one. It's now 9-7 on the Ultimate Outdoor Scoreboard. Bellman, quick sets McKee, or Kitten Kim, I beg your pardon. And she gets the kill and throws the lead back to three. Picks up her third kill of the first set. 45 on the year now. Didn't have a whole lot of power on that one, but nope. didn't need to. A little bit of a change up right there. Catches Marion Local off guard. OG with the point and the three point lead. Greta Liebrecht now serving for the Titans. Gets it over the top of the tape, received by Unrast. Evers, quick sets, a big swing from Grace Moeller. A mighty cut at the volleyball. And that cuts the lead back down to two. Yeah, that one that one had some velocity on it. You don't need to look at your tool chest for the hammer because Grace Moeller put it on display right there. Two kills in the set, 50 on the year for Moeller. Next time will serve into the perfect spot in the back corner. Titans have to chase. They'll roll it over with Carly Groffis. Miscommunication by Marion Local on the return. And Ottawa Glandorf throws that lead back to three. That's where that, that dig's got to get up in the air so the setter can get to it. Unable to do so. Marion, or excuse me, OG earns the point. Bellman serving. Now will put it in the back row. Evers will chase. To Keeter near side. Gets the, off the palm of the hand. As a quick set. And up high and down hard for Caitlin Kimmett. And the lead is now four for OG. Yeah, a shoot right there for Kimmett. The Marion local defense unable to get to the net in blocking position. Kimmett finds the wood. Helmet into the far corner. 
Evers, cross court pass, looking for Keeter. She'll cut it down the line. Got it inside the line. Saw a spot on the far side, and Rachel Keeter gets it kind of off the side of her hand, but with the perfect placement for the point. Yeah, got up in the air. The block was taking away the line. She goes cross court at the 10-foot line, gets it in. And then an ace immediately for Marion Local. Ace. That's Natalie Evers. Evers gets that ace, put it in a, just a perfect spot. That's her 11th ace on the season. Titans chasing, and it's pushed to the wood, kept alive by OG. Great effort as Evers, back set, tipped over, took a little off of it, and the kill for Rachel Peter. Tough one right there. OG was able to dig themselves out of that push down, get that one over, but they couldn't get back into correct defensive position on the ensuing play. Marion Local with the point. Was a four-point lead for OG. Now just one is Evers. Puts it in the perfect spot to tie it at 12. Yeah, her serve, it's got a little knuckle to it, and OG's going to take a timeout here with the run by Marion Local. We will as well. Now tied at 12 here in the first set on WOSN. Today's very local premier sponsor is OPAC and Osgood for all your industrial painting, staining, and assembly needs. Call OPAC. Flyers get a four-point run there. Dave, what's the message from Maddie Hohenstein to her Titan squad in that time? Well, she's been concerned about defense all year long, and that's sort of what presented itself in this run. A couple of aces and then being out of position. Got to get back to what we do. We're playing well. Let's just re re reconfigure and reestablish ourselves, and they do right there. Just a miscommunication by the Flyers, and Ottawa Glador gets the point out of the timeout. So it proves to be probably a good decision there for OG to step aside and take that breather after having a four-point lead and watch it evaporate. And you like coming out of a timeout and getting that point right away. Now you look to get offensive. Evan Kimmick. Evers tipped over. Bellman will chase. Swung on by the Titans. Evers goes and gets it one more time. Unwraps. Will set it in the middle of the floor. Quick set. Tipped over. Flyers leaping and diving to get it. And they'll get it back over. Might have been four hits there, but it was so quick. Delman. The pass to Fry. Cut on. Kept alive. And Marion Local the kill and the point by Addy Ein. Got to tip your cap to Ava Unrest right there. Great dig by the libero for Marion Local. She leads the Flyers in that category with 74 coming into today's contest. That was a huge dig, and it resulted in a Marion Local point. The serve. Belvin cross-court pass. Swung on, dug out from the back row. Takes a tough carom from the... Rafters and Ottawa Glandorf gets the point. You mentioned the libero play, Dave. It's almost kind of like, like offensive line play in football, right? You don't get the you don't get the big stats. Nobody's staring it. Uh, but if you play your position really well, it goes a long way in helping your team be successful from that libero spot. You play it well and with consistency, and you get noticed then. But you're right. Great comparison to being an offensive lineman. Just got to do the work and let your teammates get the glory. A swing and a kill for Ottawa Glandor. Flyers thought it was headed out. Instead, it's cut down the line by Grace Colley. Oh, I beg your pardon. Uh, Ella White make the kill. That's her second kill in the set. And for a three and four team, I am very impressed with OG here in the Absolutely. early going. Natalie Evers, back sets Keeter, blocked at the net, popped back up by the Titans. White one more time, just a little long. Good decision by Marion Local. It's just amazing how much volleyball you have to play. Those girls know where that back line is, and that just barely went out of bounds. Right, they can read the spin, read the speed, as Unrash sends it away. Bellman back sets Fry, takes some off of it, and they'll find the floor. There it is again. Sets up to go with the hammer, then goes with the changeup. A little bit of out of sync. She wasn't at the height of her jump, but does a real nice job athletically. Taps it over, earns the point, earns the kill. And an in-air adjustment, an impressive one from the junior is Evers. The set, near side, swung on by Eckstein. Popped back up by Ottawa Glandorf. White will take a cut at it. Under acid bid. 
Pushed back over by the Flyers' Ike. Set from unrest. Far side, Eckstein. Kept alive and now pushed to the floor from the middle by Marion Local. And Brooke Evers with the kill. Does what you should do with that free ball coming over. It was a good dig. And I think that's a play that doesn't get enough credit in high school volleyball. When girls dig it, dig a spike and get it to the center, that is hard to do. White takes a big cut, but it's blocked at the net by Natalie Evers. And we are all square at 16 on the ultimate outdoor scoreboard. That's Evers' ninth block on the season, second in that category for the Flyers. Bellman, quick set, blocked right back to him. Here's the Titans. White. Gets it off the heel of the hand. Evers, back set in the back row. A hardy cut from the back row from Grace Moeller. Don't generally see kills from behind the 10-foot line, and the Flyers take the lead. You typically don't, but when you are the leader of your team in that category, why not? Moeller with her 51st kill on the season. Bellman back sets Fry. Never got it over the net. And now it's a two-point advantage for Marion Local. Adam Glamorth will take a timeout. We will as well. We've got a break in the action and a break here on WOSA. Tonight's scoreboard sponsor, Ultimate Outdoor. Bringing, bring result, resort-style living to your backyard every day with a luxury outdoor space by Ultimate Outdoor. Out of the timeout, Flyers push to Grace Moeller into the far ear corner as Bellman cross-court pass to White. Off the block, kept alive by the Flyers. Swung on by Eckstein, blocked right back to her. As the window was closed by Madison McKee and Allison Bellman and a point to Ottawa Blandor. Madison McKee with her second block on the day in set number one. Good timeout by Coach Hohenstein right there. They get the point, cut it to one. A 10-4 run up to that point by the Lady Flyers. Serve just a little long by Carly Krampus. And she had to use that timeout, Garrett. It's her second timeout. She doesn't have any more for the set, but this might be a little bit of a pattern that the OG Lady Titans are trying to fight through. Middle of the set, latter part of the set, staying strong. Quick set to Caitlin Kimmett. Pushed wide. The point to Marion Local. Now with a three-point lead and five to go. Yeah, three-point lead. You're at 20, so you're looking to win the game to five from this point forward. The serve dug out by the Titans, tipped over in two, as Evers will try to send it over in one. Bellman, quick set, Kimmett, dive, dumped it into the campfire, and Caitlin Kimmett has another kill here in this set. I love that metaphor, put it right on the flames there in the middle. The girls tried to get to it, two of them colliding, but unable to do so, and OG has had some success putting the ball right there in the middle of the circle. Marion Local may need to make an adjustment between sets. Greta Lee Brecht to serve. Evers chases. Pass up ahead to Moeller. She'll push him in the corner. Bellman. Quick sets Kimmett. And she finds an open spot on the wall. Titans not going away quietly. Kimmett with her sixth kill of the set. They go to the corners that time. That's the first time they're really going to the corners. They've been pounding the middle so much. That's the adjustment when the middle's covered. Nicely done. 2019, Flyers with the advantage. Evers, Moeller takes some off of it, popped back up by Bellman. Titans able to push it over. Evers trying to dump it into campfire. Crawfus is there. Swung on, blocked at the net, but off the block and down. Marley Buttlemeyer the kill. And we are tied at 20. Buttlemeyer with her first kill of the match. So Ottawa Blandorf three straight points as Greta Liebrecht continues to serve. Get it into the back row. Evers up to Moeller. She'll climb the ladder and got it on the line. Grace Moeller with her fourth kill. Couldn't come at a better time. Absolutely. By Eckstein, the sophomore will serve. The leading server in aces for Marion Local. Dug out by Crawford. Bellman, quick set, Kimmett, pushed it. 
Yeah, I like the swing play right there, but Bellman's got to stay on top of that ball. She's got to time it where she is high pointing the ball. She's under it a little bit, and it's sailing on her. Marion Local letting it fly out of bounds. Bellman, cross court pass, blocked at the net, kept alive by the Titans. As Kimmett will roll it into the back row, X time. Evers, back set, Moeller, kept alive by OG. Fry from behind the 10 foot line, tips it over and finds the floor. Big play by Sienna Fry again. Fine in the middle of the floor right now. A tight one here in this first set, 22 21. As Bellman knuckleballs the serve, and it's an ace. So we are all tied at 22. Double deuces up there all over the place. Ottawa Glandorf has had a four-point lead in the set. Marion Local has had a three-point lead in the set. And the Titans serve away, tied at 22. Evers swung on by Peter into the net. And Ottawa Glandorf now finds themselves with the lead in the set. Marion Local wants a timeout. We do as well, 23-22. More first set action coming up when we return here on WOSN. Today's Marion Local Premier Sponsor is OPAC and Osgood for all your industrial painting, staining, and assembly needs. Call OPAC. 23-22, Titans with the advantage here in the closing stages of set number one. Otto Glandorf will serve. Addison Bellman sends it away into the back row, and it's another ace, and that'll bring up set point. Well, you gotta win three to take the match. And if this one goes five, that'll be awesome because we've seen some outstanding volleyball here in set one. See how things finish up. Melman sends it away. Unrasked, pops it up. It's blocked at the net as the Flyers try to get it over. Instead, Fry will take the hardy cut back over in one by the Flyers. Melman back sets Fry, finds the floor and wins the set. She high-pointed that one, Garrett, to take set number one for OG, 25-22. Establishing themselves in set number one to say, hey, we're here to play. OG up 1-0. The Titans outscore the Flyers 8-2 in the final points of set number one. We'll go to set two when we return here on WOSN. Tonight's scoreboard brought to you by Ultimate Outdoor. Bring resort-style living to your backyard every day with a luxury outdoor space by Ultimate Outdoor. Out of the set timeout, Dave Bowen, what's the message from Katherine Dirksen to, to her flyer squad there after feeling like they were in control of set number one and watching it evaporate away from them? Looking to get off to a better start here. I know it was even and everything, but you just didn't sense that Marion Local was totally established. Now they had that run, they came back, but you gotta give credit to OG. They fought their way back to win the set, Garrett. And uh, another piece, uh, we've got good rhythm, good flow to this, this match after set number one. Didn't notice our officials at all in the first set, no. and that's the way you want it. Absolutely. But we want to recognize them, our officials for today's contest. On the floor, Michael Quinlan, and on the ladder, Jeff Harvey. Couldn't do it without him here on a Saturday morning. The first real big Saturday in college football. So, giving up a little bit of the noon window to, to make sure we got some high school volleyball going on here as Ottawa Glandorf will serve after winning set number one, 25-22. And Addison Bellman will send it away to get us underway in the second set. Natalie Evers, quick set, Moeller blocked at the net. Back sets this time to Eckstein, takes some off of it, popped back up after it was sent back to her. Moeller into the back row. Coming to chase is Crawfitz. Fry cuts it down the far side, takes a tough bounce out of the rafters. Basically got sent on a springboard right back to the floor. An unfortunate bounce for Marion Local. That's the Probably the third, I think, time that we've seen the ball get up into the rafters. It's just a little bit of a low roof here in the hangar. Yeah, I really like Sienna Fry there. She is really working it, and they're going to her, and rightly so. 
Grace Moore on the swing, pushed it just wide, and it's an early 2-0 lead on the ultimate outdoor scoreboard for the Titans. Bellman continues to serve. Into the back row. Big swing from Moeller. As Fry will take another hardy cut off the Flyers and down. Sienna Fry, that lefty swing, tough to handle. And it's 3-0 three, three visitors. Yeah, and she's going cross court with that predominantly. So Marion Local needs to make the adjustment with the block. Don't worry about taking away the line. Force her to go down the line on the right side of the court with her left hand. But right now, she is going cross court and being very successful. Bellman swing. Moeller climbs the ladder and gets the kill to get Marion Local on the board here in set number two. Her fifth kill of the match. Marion Local's Chloe Rodemob now in the lineup for the first time. Chloe coming out of a little bit of sickness, was not able to be at school yesterday, so not in that first set, but she comes in and makes her presence known right away, picking up that point. So it's 3-2 after a 3-0 lead for Ottawa Glandorf, and Maya Eckstein will serve for the Flyers. Punches it down the far side. That's a tough one to handle. Tipped into the campfire, the point for Marion Local as Grace Moeller gets another kill. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Chloe Runnebaum, a starter normally for Marion Local. They dropped the first set. She's in the, the match now. And again, she was just sick yesterday, not able to be at practice, and somebody else gets an opportunity. Now she's got to come back and reestablish herself as well. Fry the swing, kept alive by Marion Local. Tipped into the far corner. Great heads up play by the Titans as Caitlin Kimmett tallies another kill. Excellent decision right there by Kimmett to find that corner. And everybody congregates at the net, leaves that back row. You've got one player back there covering the whole back, and uh, it's tough to do. Kimmett sends it away, and the ace leads the Titans in that category coming into today. Tallies another one. Again, we mentioned Chloe Rodemann in the, the lineup for the first time here in the second set. It's just another option for Marion Local offensively to, for Natalie Evers to pass to. She averages 2.3 kills a set. Kimmett got it just over the top of the tape. Unrest up ahead. Peter had it blocked, and it comes right back to the wood. It's a 6-3 lead for OG and a timeout taken by Marion Local. We'll step aside as well early here in set number two on WOSN. Tonight's scoreboard sponsor, Ultimate Outdoor, bring resort stuff to your backyard every day with a luxury outdoor space.
Bellman is okay after she ran into the ladder. She smiles at the uh, a floor official. <laughs> yeah, no, no, just my pride is hurt. Yeah, and real quick, equipment-wise, we used to have from my AD days those ladders that hooked into the pole. Well, they came to realize the girls were getting so athletic and flying around, they might hit it, and they've gone to more of a floor ladder, and that's what Marion Local has here. Much safer. Yeah, you want something just completely sedimentary where mm -hmm. you run and run into that. That's a that's a hard collision. Point for Ottawa Glandorf on the long hit by the Flyers. Gives them back the advantage. 7-6 here in set number one after set number two, I beg your pardon, after taking set one, 25-22. As Evers back sets Moeller. Fine swing from Grace Moeller. Another kill. And that'll leave it at seven. Yeah, that hits Maya McLaughlin back there. Inverted dodgeball. She hit it. She wanted to get out of the way, but couldn't. Or now serving. Pushed it just a little long. Flyer faithful thought it might have got the line. It is wide. I guess. Yeah. We've got the yellow lines again for the outline yeah. of the court. We had that Thursday night at New Bremen. Yellow on that light wood. Sometimes that's hard to see. Great job by the line judges. Evers back sets Keeter. Rejected and sent to the floor by Ottawa Glandor. Sound of the line. Right, just a sophomore. Grows the lead to two. Just a sophomore, uh, this OG squad, they start a nucleus of juniors, five juniors, so they're playing tough now, and these girls, for the majority, are going to be back. Getting a lot of experience on the hard one here this morning. As the swing from Brooke Evers blocked the lead back to three for OG. Flyers 6-0, Titans 3-4 and four coming into today. Evers at the net. Sets Brooke Evers. It's kept alive by the Titans. Swung on by White. Dug out by Marion Local. After that, can't get it back over in three. The point to the Titans in their largest lead here in set number two. Three and four, but playing a lot or playing for a lot are the OG Lady Titans. They are 2-0 and oh in early league play with wins over Kenton and Wapak. Lost to St. Henry twice, which yeah. There are a lot of schools who will lose volleyball <laughs> yeah, matches to St. Henry as Rodemann takes a cut at it just long. And the lead grows to five for OG. Also lost a five-setter to Lipsick. Lost a set, lost a match to Coldwater at the Coldwater Spike Off. And just like St. Henry, Coldwater, one of the finer teams in the area. Yeah, that's no reason, those losses, that's no reason to kick them out from the dinner table. No. Those are quality <laughs> programs right there. So the lead shrinks back to four. As Ava Unrast will drop back to serve for Marion Local. Bellman doing a great job just to get the set and it finds the floor after the swing from White. I tell you what, Addison Bellman even able to get to that volleyball and have a chance to swing at it is an impressive play by the Titans. Absolutely great play by Bellman right there. Puts her team in a position just to get the ball over, but they do more than that. They get the point. Titans. Watching the ball fall to the floor that time as Maya Eckstein gets the kill. Obviously, my stats are unofficial, but I show that as being Maya's first kill of the match. 29 on the year. She's third on the team in that category. Chloe Rodemann serving now for the Flyers. Trying to inch their way back into it after trailing by five. On the ultimate outdoor scoreboard. Bellman, White, dug out by Unras. Evers, cross court pass to Eckstein. Dug out of the back row by McLaughlin. White, one more time, blocked it to that. And the Flyers shrink the lead to three. I believe Natalie Evers picked up that block, her second of the set, or of the match. Radabov, tough serve to handle. Bellman, quick set, dug out by Unrast on the sliding save. Eckstein will roll it over. 
Bellman, quick set, Kimmich, down. I'm able to get the second one, but Unrest does a great job on that first one. Like you said, they've been shooting for the middle of that campfire. She anticipated that, able to dig it out. Just too much velocity on the second one, though. Every time Mary Lopez tried to inch back and shrink that lead, Omra Glandorf has had an answer here in set number two as they lead 14-10. Liebrecht serves. Evers, back set, pushed it wide. Flyers believe there's a tip, and it was. Now, I didn't see the tip. I'm sure it was there, but you teach your team, hey, when in doubt, and the girls just learn this naturally. If it goes out, and you're not, look to that official right. and say it was hit. Created just a little bit of indecision, but I do believe the crew got the call right. So the Flyers trailing by three. Send it away. Brooke Evers on to serve. Cross from behind the 10-foot line. Put a little too much mustard on it. And the lead's down to two. And this is where OG and Coach Hohenstein talking about being consistent. They've had a chance to put their foot on the throat a little bit, but now Marion Local, they're allowing them to get back into this set with some unforced airs. That is exactly true as the lead was five down, down to one out of the lane. Orb wants to chat about it. 14-13, Titans with the advantage here in set number two on WOSN. Tonight's Mary Local Premier Sponsor is OPAC and Osgood for all your industrial painting, standing and assembly needs, all OPAC. Titans had the lead up to five. It's now down to one. They come out of the timeout looking to regroup as Brooke Evers will send it away. Melvin slides to Kimmich. The kill off the basketball backboard. And the lead back to two for OG. The eighth kill in the match for Kimmich. Nice bump. Set and spike for OG, just what the doctor ordered coming out of the T.O. Great timeout for by, by Coach Hohenstein. Evers, pass to Moeller. She gets it past the libero into the wood. That's her ninth kill of the match. And boy, she hammered that one. There's not a lot Carly Crawford can do in that situation no. where she's a little bit vulnerable on the side. A nice swing by Grace Moeller. And it leads back down to one as Eckstein sends it away. Bellman, quick set, Kimmett, got it to the floor. Yeah, that push by Kimmett is just so impressive because she can direct the ball and find that corner. Marion Local unable to come up with it. Sophia Fleck, a great diving attempt there mm -hmm. to try to keep it alive as Kimmett sends it away. Unrest, Evers has to chase it. Flyers able to get it between the antennas. It's kept alive, and Keeter will get it over. Bellman to the center. Blocked at the net by Moeller. Swung on, blocked one more time. Flyers get it back over. Bellman back sets Fry, takes some off of it, and finds the floor. <laughs> There's a momentum point right there. Both teams getting after it. A lot of chaos. Controlled and organized chaos. OG with the point. Great play there by Sienna Fry to take some off of it, put mm -hmm. it on the floor. As Kimmett, the knuckleball serve. Evers chasing it one more time. Moeller will push it to the middle. Passed up ahead. Fry will put some wood on it. And it's a little wide. Yeah, just needed to go a little deeper. The defense would have been there, but you'd rather have that than have the ball go out. Sienna Fry swinging hard but out of bounds. 17-15, Natalie Evers to serve. And the Titans able to punch it over. Keeter, Evers, Rodabom, pushes it to the middle of the floor, dumped in the campfire, kept alive, but does drop in the lead back to three for the Titans. Just great effort all the way around. Excellent athleticism out there being displayed by both teams. Coach Hohenstein, she's got to be pleased. She, she talked about consistency with her squad coming into this match. And we're going to have a timeout by Marion Local. 
up or down three right now. And we'll keep it here. The Flyers had it. They were down as many as five, shrunk it to one, and then Ottawa Glandorf took a time out of their own, regrouped a little bit, and goes on a, a little bit of a run of their own here as they had a 4-2 advantage here out of that timeout. Yeah, we definitely have the proverbial punch, counter punch. Both teams going to their big hitters, and they're being successful. And it's what high school volleyball is all about. And shoot, Garrett, we're still in August. Yeah. <laughs> and we're seeing this quality of volleyball. It's really going to be neat as we go down the stretch. Uh, both coaches really coaching their kids up. First-year head coaches doing an outstanding job. Uh, just a lot of fun to watch, and we got a, lot, a long way to go. Yeah, and both teams leaping, diving, doing whatever it takes to keep the volleyball from hitting the floor. Uh, it, it has been an impressive effort from both sides just to just keep the ball alive. We've had some long rallies a couple of different times here through the first two sets. Coach Dirksen really, really motivating her girls in that timeout. Yeah, a little bit of a loud voice, but a lot of hand clapping, and they came in, they're all on the same page. Uh, Coach Dirksen, she was on the uh, state championship team back in 2007 here for those Marion local Flyers. Coming back home to be, to be the head coach. Great small on this swing and a kill out of the timeout. That's textbook what Marion local wanted to see out of that stoppage. As Moore will send it away. Bellman back sets Fry. Lefty swing. Dug out by the Flyers. A miscommunication, and wow. they're able to get it back over. Bellman tips it. Push it to the back there. row. Yes, there is. And Carl Crawfus able to get oh. there. And Ella White knew immediately that she misplayed it. And Woo. the lead's down to one. Another spectacular rally. Both sides doing whatever they can to get the ball over. Wow, great effort. Both teams just really digging in and getting at it. Moeller, the serve. Bellman, back sets Fry, blocked at the net, but down. Sliders got a lot of it, but didn't get all of it. Sienna Fry is cold as a frozen face emoji right there. <laughs> Feed me. Feed me, Gary. That's she what she's it. saying. And she'll serve now, leading by two as we approach the final stages mm. of set number two. And the Titans put it to the wood is Madison McKee. Got it right back quickly. And she puts it to the floor, the lead to three. Sienna Fry, that serve right there, that ball didn't have any spin on it. I'm sure it was knuckling. Marion Local unable to come up with it, and I understand why. Fry into the back row, unwrapped. Moeller from behind the 10 foot line. Just, she, I think she hit the mascot with that. <laughs> <laughs> she put some speed on it. And it's now 21 17 tight. You they cannot took question, one. yeah, you can't question the adrenaline, the aggressiveness. Oh, absolutely. She put that one into the back wall. Titans one set one, 25-22. Yes. That'll make it 21-18 on the ultimate outdoor scoreboard. Flyers trying to battle back. We saw in set number one, it was 2017 Marion Local. Out of the lane, or charge back to take the set, see if the Flyers can do the same. And set two is Unras, knuckleballs, the serve. Bellman to White, took some off of it, finds the open spot. Yeah, that change up from Ella White, it's been very effective. And from the uh, OG hitters as a whole, they've hit some hard ones, but man, they have found Wood with the soft shot. Really picking the right time to use it throughout the match today. Four point lead with three to go. Crawfords sends it away. Evers. Sets Brooke Evers in the middle of the floor. Bellman, Kimmett tries to push it to the corner. A miscommunication, and it's 23-18 Titans. Yeah, miscommunication, little confusion there. Got to get that squared away. The office will send it away once more. Got it over into the back row. Natalie Evers, Brooke Evers, the swing. Titans keep it alive. White from the far side. Tipped it. Next up. Takes some off of it and finds the wood. Great anticipation defensively there by Marion Local. They understood the ball was going to White, and she went with the soft shot again. They compensated for that before she even put her hand on the ball. Great defense, Flyers. Chloe Ranabaugh sends it away. 
Quick set, mm. Kimmett dug out by Radebaum, or by Moore, I beg your pardon, pushed it too far towards the net. And it's now set point for Ottawa Glendorf for 24-19. Not much you can do with that short set right there. Kimmett hits the ball over the net before the Marion, lo lo Marion local block can get established. Greta Lee racked on to serve with set point. The junior sends it into the back row. Natalie Evers, back set Brooke Evers, blocked wide, and the point to the Flyers. All six girls out there for Marion Local yelling out in sync, and it's the right call, point for the Lady Flyers. They've got to dig in here. And an ace for Brooke Evers at a good time. The senior puts it in the middle of the floor, and Ottawa Glendorf wants to take the time out. But 24-21, we'll keep it here. So they just want to, they got the timeout. Might as well use it. Yeah. Just talk about things. Hey, all you got to do is get one point here. Let's regroup, take a second, breathe. Yeah, I couldn't agree with you more, Gary. A great timeout by the first-year head coach, Matty Hohenstein. Just get everybody on the same page here. Just a little momentum switch with two points in a row for the Flyers. But let's stay consistent. Let's stay with who we are, and let's get it to our hitters and make it. And they'll make good, great decisions like they have all day, and we'll come away with a second set win. I just got to get one. Now it's it's the hardest one to get, but <laughs> but you just got to get one here. It's uh, essentially trying to avoid letting Marion Local climb back in this as they built a little bit of momentum. See if you can't stop it. But the Flyers trying to battle back here in set number two. Trailed by as many as five. It's now a three-point lead on the Ultimate Outdoor scoreboard. And maybe some of our viewers have noticed Coach Dirksen, she's in a boot, tore her Achilles heel uh, leading uh, the church clap at, at Bible school this summer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Getting maybe just a little bit too much into it. Yeah, exactly. Brooke Evers to send it away. Bellman will chase. And a Titans have to settle for just getting it over. It's a free ball. Grace Moeller finds the floor on the back set from Natalie Evers. And it's that, a two-point game. And that free ball is something we have not seen very much from no. either team. It's been a lot of hard hitting and good sets for each yes, side. Yes, exactly. Grace Conley in the game for the first time for OG. 24-22. Brooke Evers sends it away. Delman. Slides to Kimmett. It's kept alive by Unrast. Bellman tries to find a campfire. It's not there. Eckstein into the back row. Bellman quick sends Kimmett. Back over in one. Kept alive by Rodebaum. Evers, Moeller, popped up in the air, goes back to the back row, falls to the floor, and the Titans take set two with the identical 25-22 score. What a set right there to go up two to zero. And that last point was just a microcosm of what we've seen all day. You've got to earn it, OG does. They're up 2-0, looking to take this thing in three. We will step aside and come back with that third set here on WOSN. Tonight's Mary Local Premier Sponsor is OPAC and Osgood for all your industrial painting, standing, and assembly needs. Call OPAC. Set number three about to get underway. Out of a glandor with two sets in hand, both 25-22. I'm Garrett Seamright, joined alongside with Dave Bowen. And Mary Local trying to battle back here in set number three. Dave, and extend this just a little bit. Yeah, they've got to get momentum on their side of the net with some consistency, and, and that can happen in the game of volleyball, and once you get it, you don't want to let go of it, but that's the situation right now for OG. They have it. You know, this year, they're three and four. They've won 10 sets. They've lost 12. Marion Local has won 15 sets, lost two. Marion Local won this match last year, three to one. OG with a lot of motivation, and it's been on display thus far. Let's see how it plays out. Bellman, the pass, tries to send it right back to the floor. Rodemann leaping and diving. As Fry will pass to Bellman. Slides to Kimmett off the flyer, blocking down. Caitlin Kimmett with another, what you would say, a soft kill, but kill nonetheless. Right, yeah. And that's all that matters. 
get that all important first point of the set. Flyers will mop up a little condensation. It is significantly cooler today than it was yesterday. Yes. Do you think that little girl will be a Marion local volleyball would, player someday? I would. Uh, <laughs> I'm not putting any money I was on it because I believe I would, she will. I would put good money that someday mm. she'll be on his hardwood. I'm not going against it. Bellman to serve. Dug out by Rodebaum. Evers. Back set. Muller finds the floor. Grace Moeller, she's going to have to come up big the rest of the way. Yeah. If Marion Local is going to fight her way back in this one. And she does right there. So much arm whip. High points the ball well. A lot of speed on that. A lot of velocity. Nothing OG can do with it. And then immediately the ace by Natalie Evers. And Marion Local has the 2 1 advantage. It's her third ace unofficially in the match today. Evers into the back row. Bellman sets the far side for Fry, and she'll tally another kill. It's one of those situations where Mary Local, they might be sitting back saying, come on, hit the ball. You know, bring it at us. But hey. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. I was going to say, I think Marion Local, yeah, you almost got to take the idea. Of like, You know what? We're just going to swing as hard as we can here in set number three, and if they handle it, more power to them. Like right there, Grace Moeller, I just attacked the volleyball. Mm -hmm. If, if uh, Ottawa Glendorf can handle it, so be it. The Titans battle back, make it 3-2. There's Caitlin Kimmick. Gets ready to send it away. Evers. Back set Moeller, and she hammers it to the floor. Looked like that might have been close, but no disagreement from Coach Hohenstein in any way, shape, or form. Moeller, backspin on the serve. Back set from Bellman. Fry never got it over the tape. And it's a 4-3 advantage now for the Flyers. Yeah. Nice crowd on hand here on a Saturday morning. Big JV football game going on at Booster Field here at Marion Local as they're taking on cold water. So a couple of divided games here this morning is the Flyers. Chloe Ronnebaum from behind the 10-foot line. As Ava Unrast, Evers will pass to Ronnebaum this time. Swings as hard as she can and finds the floor. Nice kill for Ronnebaum right there. Is that her first of the match? That's what I was just looking at, and that's what I have it down for. That is her first kill. See if she can make herself, her presence known here in set number three with a little more detail. Bellman, Crawfus. Evers the back set to Keeter. Dug out by the Titans. Fry with the left hand swing. Pushed it wide. Tried to cut it where nobody was. Just a bit too much sauce on it. Yeah, she's been effective in doing that throughout the match. I'm able to do so right there on that particular play. It's a 6-3 advantage on the ultimate outdoor scoreboard. And a perfect serve by Grace Moeller. Titans thought it was wide. It wasn't. They'll take a timeout as Marion Local leads 7-3 here in set number three on WOSN. Grace Moeller about to send it away. Marion Local leading 7-3, a four-point advantage. Might be the largest of the match so far today for the Flyers. And an unfortunate time for a service error. And again, that's a difference between good and great. I know we're still in August. We mentioned that earlier. But coming out of a timeout, you got to get that yeah. serve in. And that'll happen as uh, the season rolls along. But here in the early going, down two sets to zero, you can ill afford to have that happen. A serve sent away by Maya McLaughlin. Has a hearty swing from Brooke Evers. The Titans chasing. Can they get it over? They, they do! do. <laughs> Evers, Ronabon, off the speaker in the rafters. And the Titans able to roll into the back row. And a misplay by the Flyers gives the Titans the look point. Down two, but as we've talked throughout the match, that's a momentum point. Let's see what OG can do with it. That ball was ping-ponging around all over the hangar. Marion Local can't get it back over. 
as McLaughlin will serve one more time. Just over the top of the tape, Evers back sets Keeter. It's dug out by Bellman. As Fry will take the cut at it, blocked by Marion Locals, Chloe Ronnebaum, combining with Brooke Evers to close that window. And the lead grows back to three. That's Chloe's first block of the day. There, point for Ottawa Plandorf. Not a popular call here. Gonna say that it was tipped at the net. I know it came off the net really awkwardly because Fry was hitting it to the left corner and it went out of bounds right, so it's almost hard to believe it didn't get touched there. The swing from Ottawa blocked by Emma White. Ella White has really had a nice game for OG. I'll tell you what, we talked about it. I know they've lost to quality opponents, but this OG squad, very impressive. And Coach Hohenstein said, offensively, that's our strength. We just got to have that good pass to get us set up. They've done it today. 8-7 to score on the ultimate outdoor scoreboard. As Eckstein sends it to Ottawa Glandorf. White takes a hearty cut at it. Flyers able to get it back over. Dug out by Crawford. Bellman looks for White. Tipped. Dug out by Rodemont. Evers to Eckstein. Got it between the candy canes. White one more time. Pushed it long. Kept going to White on that particular play. Sometimes you're trying to catch your breath a little bit. That might have been more of a physical error than anything else. Just conditioning on that particular play for OG. Marion Local answers here with two straight points. Builds so, the lead back up to three. That's 10-7 now. It's a knuckleball serve. Titans trying to regroup. White dug out by the Flyers from behind the 10-foot line. Rodebaum tucked it inside. Oh! Big play, big decision by the OG back row to let that one go. Works in their favor, but man, the, the amount of time you have to make that decision, just so oh, minute. Oh, absolutely. I they thought it was the, yeah, dropping. Thought, it, was, mm -hmm. it was just a sinker, but it went long. Evers off the block and down. Brooke Evers, another kill for Marion Local. Unofficially her second kill of the match. She'll serve with that three-point lead on the ultimate outdoor scoreboard. Titans. White. Kind of off the side of the hand a little bit. You can see the side winding spin a little bit. And it's a four-point lead for the Flyers. And she does have a hand injury. We can see that she's yeah. got that taped up. Might be from just pounding the volleyball as much <laughs> as she has. And an ace for Evers. Hit the top of the net, dropped it over. And that's her fourth ace of the match. She's been able to find some holes. That one, the top of the tape is her friend. She'll send it away one more time with a five-point lead. Titans able to get it over. Didn't look like that was going to be an option. As Eckstein takes some off of it. Bellman will chase. Swung on a little too hard one more time. And Marion Local now with a six-point advantage here in set three. Coach Hohenstein electing not to go with a timeout right now, but she can't allow this squad to get any, down any more. Evers, Bellman tries to dump it over. Natalie Evers, Grace Moeller takes a hearty cut at it. Titan Faithful thought that's four. As Eckstein sends it over. Liebrecht had it blocked. Popped up in the air by Marion Local. They get it over. Great defense. The slide. Kimmett blocked. Kept alive. She'll dump it back over. Unrass a dig. Moeller tips it over, and it finds the floor. Marion Local playing defense in this set like their volleyball life depends upon it. Yeah. And it does. Really, really all over the floor right now are the Flyers. Nothing getting down. The Titans. Thought it was four. 
didn't get the call. The lead is now seven for Marion Local. It's Grace Moeller who's done a lot of things today. Is now mopping up the floor as everybody leaping and diving. <laughs> yeah. So we haven't have had very many questionable calls at no. all, but I've been very impressed with both coaches, how they have handled it when they have felt like maybe something was in question. Very professional. Bellman, quick sense, Kimmett, nothing you can do about that. Her 12th kill in the match, Caitlin Kimmett. Averages just over two and a half kills per set, so three per set so far here today. Yeah, Caitlin's been a little quiet in this set, so hello, welcome back, but down six, OG needs to go on a run. Flyers able to return. Melvin. Swung on, kept the line by Marion Local. And they'll get a kill as Maya Eckstein gets it off a tight into the floor. Her second kill the mount match for the sophomore. 30 on the season now. Seven point lead for Marion Local. Largest to the mat, largest to the largest to the match, largest to the set here. As Eckstein will serve. The sophomore punches it away. Bellman to Kimmett on the slide, got it down well, here line. When they have that timed up with Caitlin Kimmett with the slide, it is lethal. Goes down the line, dynamite down that line. Yeah, that first pass has been paramount for Audible Cleador. They get it to where Bellman has whatever she wants to do with the set. They have been highly successful. Yeah, both our setters, Bellman and Evers, they're putting on a show. Do a great job playing the quarterback position Grace on the volleyball court. Grace Moeller, it looks like, maybe has a cut on her right leg, and they got her patched up there. Opportunity to wipe the floor down. 16 10 on the ultimate outdoor scoreboard. Ottawa Glandor sending it away with Addison Bellman into the back row. And the Flyers, can they get it over? They can. Nearly into bleachers. They get it back. The Audible Glandorf as the Titans. Fleck digs it out. Keeter will punch it over. Bellman back sets Fry. Blocked it to net by Moeller, but it goes wide. Great back set, as you said, by Bellman. Going to Sienna Fry. Knows where her bread is buttered. And she's going to enjoy that right there. Bellman sends it away. Moeller takes a big swing at it and finds the one. Flyers up six, showing some really, really tough effort, mental toughness yeah. here in this third set. And determination to not go down. Determination, yes. Melman, quick sets, Kimmett, nothing you can do. Got it off the block just a little bit. The Flyers got their fingertips on it, but Kimmett climbs the ladder. Shrinks the lead back to five. You can't trade one for one here. You got to go on a little run. Evers sets to Moeller. It's out of play. And it's a six-point advantage for Marion Lopez. It's just a minute change, but Marion Local just seems to be more in sync in this yeah. set. Everybody's on the same page. The dance moves all syncing up. They're executing like your favorite boy band, there, <laughs> With voice and dance moves. Dance moves, moves yeah. Got, got the dances down. That's the most important part. Back set from Bellman. Fry off the block and down. That's her 10th kill of the match. Ryan McLaughlin on to serve for out of Landorf in exchange for Grace Colley. McLaughlin a junior. Knuckle ball into the back corner. Hunter asked. Rodabom blocked. A great block. Window closed by Madison McKee and Sienna Fry. And out of Glandorf has shrunk the lead to four. McKee with her third block of the match. Down to four. Let's see if OG can put a little run on here. Going to wipe up the sweat. 
That Good can effort. also deaden the momentum a little bit. Yeah, absolutely. Good mm -hmm. effort by our, our moppers. <laughs> Here, I mean, pr push it off hard on that thing. McLaughlin still serving. To the far side. Tried to put, pinpoint it and pushed it wide. And the lead back to five for the Flyers. Great decision by Rachel Keeter to let that one go. Unrasked. Knuckle balls into the back row. Melvin, the pass to White. Tries to cut it down the line, and she gets the kill. Ellis has been going down the line in middle. She's not really come across court till right there, and that new look gives her a point with the kill. Nicely done for Ella White. That brings Sienna White to serve. Sienna Fry to serve, I beg your pardon. Evers, cross-court pass. Off the block, off the Raptors, and out the point to the Flyers. They lead 20-15. Brooke Evers with another kill. Felt like OG was starting to get just a little momentum there. Marion Local shutting the door. Five points for a victory for the Flyers. Radabom serve, swing, just wide. It's Brooke Evers looks to the heavens. Yeah. Thought, I thought she had... She was upset with herself. Right, she thought with... she had a meatball right there <laughs> exactly. and instead just pushed it wide. Uh -huh. Open as a Grand Canyon right there and couldn't, couldn't get it in. Natalie was cross court pass to Eckstein off the block and down. And the Flyers now four points away from forcing a set four. Eckstein says, teammate, I'll pick you up. Timeout taken by Ottawa Glandorf. We have a timeout as well on WOSN. Tonight's scoreboard brought to you by Ultimate Outdoor. Bring resort-style living to your backyard every day with a luxury outdoor space by Ultimate Outdoor. Marion Local trying to close out set number three and four set four. It's Brooke Evers. Sends it away. Bellman, the set to Fry. Well behind the 10-foot line. Flyers have to play it out of the rafters. They'll get it back over. Fry to receive. Bellman, cross-court pass to White. Brings it back to the near side. Takes another hardy cut at it. Off the flyer, blocking down, and the point to the visitors. OG calls the timeout to get the point coming out of it. I really love observing teams and how they handle themselves in a timeout. It was uh, a mirror image. Players focused, locked in, leaning forward, looking at their head coach. Great eye contact. These teams are really getting after it. Really, really enjoying the opportunity to compete against each other. Four-point game. Natalie Evers, Grace Moeller, a hardy cut. Evers will back set Eckstein. Kept alive by the Flyer, by the Titans, I beg your pardon. As the ball flies just wide for the Flyers. And Ottawa Glandorf has shrunk the lead to three. Bellman and Kimmett execute the shoot. And they get the point. Mary Local unable to get in the blocking position. Atmosphere ratcheting up here. It's just a bit long on the serve. Now a four-point game for the Flyers with three to go. Greta Libre, her non-purple say when she hit it, she was trying to pull it back in. She knew she got all of it. Great decision by Marion Local to let it go long. Bellman, Kim at the swing, into the back row. Pushed up ahead to Keeter. Bellman, off the block and down. There's Grace Colley take the, took the swing at it. And that... Gets it back to a three-point game here in his third set. I tell you what, it's a plethora of riches as far as the hitters are concerned for OG. Here comes Grace Colley. I have that as her first kill of the match. And man, she looked like she's been out there the whole night. Back set from Evers. Moeller pushed it long. So it's a two-point advantage now for the Flyers. They may win this set, but momentum has shifted Absolutely. back to OG. Both sides, as Marion Loco now will take a timeout to talk about it. 22-20, will step aside as well, come back with more third set action here on WOSN. Late 
stages of set number three, 22-20, but it's a 4-1 run for Ottawa Glandorf trying to climb back. Yeah, Coach Gerksen sending the big, sensing the big Mo has flipped to the other side of the net, takes that timeout. Let's see if they can get a point coming out of it. Moeller tips over. It's dug out by the Titans. Collie will cut it. Unrass the dig. Keeter swings at it. It's popped back up in the air by Lee Brett. Collie misplays it, and it's now 23-20. That ball just seems like it's never going to come down. You've made a decision not to try and hit it by yeah. leaving your feet. And as a result, you put it in the net. Top break for Colley right there. Stung into the back row on the serve. Bellman quick sets Kimmett. Tipped over. Keeter blocked at the net. Kept alive by the Titans. Colley into the back corner. Dug out by Unrest. Cross court pass to Ronabom. Tips it down the near line. Crawfords. Fry takes some off of it. Flyers keep it alive. Rodabaugh into the back row. Bellman back sets Fry. Takes a swing and the kill. Another long volley and OG is able to come away with the point. Cuts the lead to two and they have the serve. I don't know if the Titans get a couple. We may get some free volleyball here yeah. in set number three. It has been a tight back and forth here after Marion Local had quite the lead here in set number three. The Titans have fought all the way back as Caitlin Kimmett will serve, trailing by two. <laughs> Kimmett pushed it long, and that'll bring up set point for Marion Local. You want to be offensive with your serve. But you got to get it in in yeah. that situation. Tough break for the Lady Titans. Grace Moeller serving. Put it in a great spot. And that'll drop to the floor. And the Flyers force a set four with a 25-21 win here in the third. We'll come back with fourth set action for you here on WOSN. Tonight's Mary Local Premier sponsor is OPAC and Osgood. For all your industrial painting, staining, and assembly needs, call OPAC. Set number four about to get underway is Mary Local. One set number three, 25 21, after OG won the first two sets by identical 25 22 scores. Garrett, coaches uh, in the sport of volleyball, a lot of times you talk about five point increments. You want to be the first one to five, mm -hmm. first one to 10, 15, 20, 25. I think for OG and their psyche to be the first one to five here in set number four is absolutely huge. If they can get there, then they can settle in and get back to what they did the first two sets. And what they did the latter half of set three, um, just not enough to overcome what Marion Local did throughout set three to come all the way back. But the psyche of OG right now, a little fragile, in my opinion. Momentum is on Marion Local's side of the net. Yeah, OG did a, a good job there in that third set to battle back even mm -hmm. to make it a game. I mean, it was a seven-point game there yes. for a while. So to even get it back within a couple in the closing stages. And if they uh, can roll with that here, yes. If they can roll with that right away here at the beginning of set four, be the first one to five. And for the Flyers, to tell you the truth, it's been real easy to go, all right, it's a Saturday morning, we're down two sets to none. Let's pack it in and go home watching high State. Great they, point. They, they fought back from the get-go as the first point of the set goes to Marion Local. Sienna Fry, wide left over there. Maya Eckstein will serve the first ball away for the homestanding Flyers. Again, Marion Local 6-0, and Ottawa Glendor 3-4. and The Flyers looking to stay perfect. They'll need to force a set number five to do it. The sophomore punches it into the back row. As Bellman gives to Fry from the far side, dug out by the Flyers. Keeter the swing off the block. Popped back up by Ottawa Glandorf. A hardy swing and finding the wood is Marley Buttlemeyer who's been relatively quiet today. 
That's her second kill in the match. Another part of the arsenal of hitters that OG brings to the table. You have Fry, Kimmett, and White as your top three, but Baltimore and Ella White, or excuse me, um, Grace Talley have shown themselves here too. Grace Moeller takes some off of it, kept alive by OG as Fry takes a hearty swing, dug out by Fleck. To the near side, Keeter will roll it over. Bellman, the tip by Fry, and she's got another kick. And we didn't see that much in set two, that, that off speed hit by OG, or by in set three, excuse me. We see it right there, and the Titans go up two to one on their way to getting to five first. Caitlin Kimmett, the serve. Knuckleball into the back row. Evers, cross court pass, looking for Keeter off the block, and that one will drop to the wood. Bellman tried to one arm band it and get that up there. She didn't know she had a defender coming over. Would have been tough either way. Marion Local with the point. Evers to serve. Bellman back sets Fry. She'll climb the ladder and get the wood. Not much you can do about that one. Sienna Fry over the block. Nice swing by the junior. One of many juniors rotating through the lineup for out of Glandor. Sienna Fry uses all of that 6-1 frame to get up in the air. She's got some hops as well as the height. Maya McLaughlin serve off. To the top of the tape, somehow, some way, Grace Moeller gets the left fist on it to get it over. Fry will bring the hammer. Ava Unrast able to get a hand on, but it's wide on the return. And out of Glandor. Ava holds the lead. Yeah. If, she, if we were on the softball field, her uniform would be completely oh. <laughs> dirty. She is diving all over the place. Gritty player. Evers back sets Moeller off the block and down. Ultimate outdoor scoreboard reads out of Glandor four, Marion Local three with the Flyers now serving. Mola with 14 kills on the afternoon now. Into the back row, Bellman back sets Fry, takes some off and it's on the floor. There's really not a whole lot. You, you, if you let Sienna Fry swing the hammer, it's probably gonna find the floor if you prepare for her to take some off of it. She's probably going to swing the hammer and it's going to find the floor. Exactly. And, and, and an athletic move on her part right there. That set was close to the net. She really couldn't extend and hit it hard. Did what she could with it and gets a point out of it. Evers cross court pass to Brooke Evers. Kept alive by the Titans. White will take a cut at it. Off the back row and down. So OG does get to five first and extends it to six to three. We have a situation with just about after every play. You know, it has gotten a little more humid in here. Mm -hmm. We've had more people come into the gym. You mentioned the uh, JV yeah, football, football game. Yeah, had the football game out there. Yeah, when I pulled into the parking lot this morning, Garrett, I, I thought, oh, Mary Local, they got their varsity team out there in full <laughs> pads because all those kids look so big. They're playing cold water. Cold water was not out on the field. But I thought, my goodness, uh, I know you've won, what, 51 in a row or something like that? But Working towards it. You're not getting bored with success, that's for sure. As the ace for the Titans makes it 7-3. Yeah, I, there was a play down at the end zone as I was parking. At the, I think Coldwater had a six foot four tight end <laughs> playing JV. Probably yeah, a freshman, too. <laughs> there were a lot of big boys out there on a Saturday morning. As Evers sets up Brooke Evers. Swung on, unrasp, pops it back up. As Brooke Evers will set it over, pro double contact. That might be our first double contact I call of the day. And it's not that they've been out there and the coaches have been saying it's happening. These girls are just so fundamentally sound. That's the first one we've seen all day long. So a five-point advantage here for the Titans in set number four. They have the 2-1 lead. As Sienna Fry into the back corner. Natalie Evers tips over to Keeter. White, the standing swing. Right at the net, and a great play by Natalie Evers to get it to Brooke Evers. Bellman, the pass, the swing, 
by Madison McKee. The kill, the lead, now six. Coach Dirks, and I thought she was going to use a timeout. She's going to go with a sub instead to try and break this momentum by OG right now. Not going to use the timeout. Down six, as you said, Garrett. They're in, they're in the Kenny Loggins danger zone right now. Yes, are sir. the Flyers. Fry to serve. Keeter, the standing swing. Dug out by Fry. Bellman will set Fry from behind the 10-foot line. Got a, the wrong angle on it. Gives the point to Marion Lobo. Right idea, just unable to execute. And that gives Marion Local a point and maybe just a little bit of a reprieve. See what they do with it. Unrest. In the middle of the floor, Bellman looking for White. Put too much on it. Cut the lead to four. I don't think you can use a timeout if you're OG if Mary yeah. Local scores here, but gosh darn it. Yeah, you had them where you wanted, and now they're right back in it, down three. Unforced airs for OG here all of a sudden. The Flyers got the snowball rolling downhill just a little bit. Trying to build that momentum back up. Unrasked into the back row. Melman has to chase. White. And another error. Ottawa Glendorf's going to take a timeout. Yes, they are. 9-7 to seven to score here in set number four. We'll step aside, come back with more four set action for you here on WOSN. Unrest about to send it away. Does as the Flyers try to climb back in. They trail 9-7. Swung up by Fry. Returned by Marion Local. As it's tipped over by Chloe Ronabob. And it finds the floor. So Marion Local momentum back on their side of the net. They have the opportunity to tie this thing up at 9. Down 9-3. Nine to three. Didn't use the timeout. And then OG did, up 9-7. OG unable to stop the momentum coming out of the T.O. Titans set up Kimmich. What they do there. Set up McKee, I beg your pardon. She finds the floor. That's her second kill of the match. Madison McKee, number 23, the 6-2 sophomore. And now Carly Crawfus. Sends it away, the side-winding serve. Natalie Evers gives to Ronnebaum. Off the block and down. We had mentioned Chloe Ronnebaum in set number three, making her presence known a little bit more. She has. Picks up another kill. Now Faith Ronnebaum will come on to the floor for, I think, the first time for Marion Local. To replace Grace Moeller. As Chloe Ronnebaum serves. Bellman. Sets Kimmett, and it's blocked by Marion Local, and we are all square at 10. The ultimate outdoor scoreboard at Ottawa Glandorf is leading by as many as six here in this set. As White tries to get the lead back for the Titans and does. That is a nice answer if you're an OG fan. Ella White hits that one hard and comes away with the kill. 11-10, OG with the advantage now. As Greta Lee Brecht on to serve. Knuckleball, Evers, back sets Brooke Evers, off the floor. 11-11. Sometimes the game looks so simple. Nice execution by the Flyers there. Moeller steps back out on the floor for the Flyers, allowing Brooke Evers to drop back to serve for the home team. Clawing back here in set four. Top spin on to serve. It's a joust at the net, one by Ottawa Glendorf called for the lift. Yeah, that rolled up Addie Bellman's arms just too much, but the pass, that's what created that situation in the first place. The old prolonged contact. And an ace immediately for Marion Local. They now lead 13-11. 
So we've seen it going both ways. Now it's OG's turn to show some intestinal fortitude. Stop this run by Marion Local and fight their way back in it. Evers, the serve into the middle of the floor. Bellman, the swing by Buttlemeyer, returned by Marion Local. Buttlemeyer will take at it again. Tipped over, dug out by Unrast. Evers, x off the block, pop back up. Bellman, quick sets Kimmett, got enough of it to get it over. A swing into the back row, wide, and the point to the Titans. Just what the doctor ordered if you're an OG fan right there. Long volley, they come away with the point. Down one. Bellman to serve. Back set, Evers, Eckstein swings at it, blocked at the net. Grace Moeller will take a cut, that's blocked as well. Eckstein gets it over. Bellman, back sets Fry, left hand, got it up off the floor, did Unrast. Rolled over by Eckstein. Fry, tip, blocked by Moeller and down. What a volley both ways, great blocks at the net both ways, but Grace Moeller Leads the tight, or excuse me, leads Marion Local in that category. Comes up with what I show is her second block of the day. I might be a little under on that number right there, but she leads Marion Local in that category. Puts it on display right there. A lot of black blockeroni and cheese out there, Garrett. It was a stop sign after stop sign <laughs> there. Just brick wall from the Marion Local front, or from the Ottawa Glendor front line, and then for Moeller to climb the ladder and send it right to the wood. An impressive point for both sides, but it goes on the ultimate outdoor scoreboard for the Flyers. Get some sweat mopped up the floor, off the floor again. As Eckstein awaits to serve. Sends it into the back row. Bellman, a quick set. Just getting something on it. Muller tips it over and she'll find a free spot one more time. Grace Muller turns the tables. She finds the middle of the campfire there. That's something OG did in the early going of yep. this match. Mary Locals made the adjustment and locked that down a little bit more. Next time, sir, just a bit long. And that'll shrink the lead to two for Mary and Local. In the libero, Ava Unrath, she's had a lot to do with that, taking away that middle. Whenever it's going there, she's automatically declared herself as the person to go get it. Evers back sets Moeller. Kept alive. Fry the left-handed swing off the block and down. I show that as the Enterprise 15th kill of the match. She's going to need to ice down afterwards. <laughs> With that left hand taken care of, because it's now a one-point lead for Marion Local. With Caitlin Kimmett serving. Just over the top of the tape. Evers tries to dump it over. She in the net. No, Marion Otto Landorf's in the net. That was a good call. Saw that net violation. Tried to block that tip. Didn't get to it. Got in the net. Point four, Marion Local. That grows it back out to two. As Natalie Ever serves, received by Crawfus. Back set from Bellman to Fry. Off the flyer defense, off of Catherine Dirksen. The flyer coach can't be real mobile over there yeah. with the walking boot and crutches. So. Hobbled, but she yeah. comes through <laughs> to make contact. Yeah, she doing all she could. <laughs> Sent away by Ottawa Glandorf. Evers back set. Moeller climbed the ladder for the kill. Over there on the right side, Grace Moeller. She's been the go-to for Marion Local. And on the right side for OG, it's been Sienna Fry. Moeller serving now. Bellman. Back sets Fry. Took some off. Off the block. Unras got it up and over. And the... Flyers have four hits. Coach Dirksen, I don't know if she was, yeah, she's telling her captain yeah, to go talk to um, Jeff Harvey. 
And he's not going to go with the replay. He's going to stick with his call. He's saying that first hit was not a block. It was a lift, and that's what created the four-hit situation. So it is a one-point game as Fry serves. Natalie Evers to Brooke Evers, finds the open spot. Now we got big circles being drawn on the floor <laughs> by the Marion local flyers saying, hey, this entire area needs swept up. Brooke Evers with her fifth kill of the match. I have 16 kills for Grace Moeller at this point. I have 16 kills for Sienna Fry. Going to the workhorses here in the late stages. Is Ava Unrass, the libero for Marion Local. Serves, lollipop knuckleball, kept alive. Fry will tip it over. Natalie Evers to Chloe Rottenbaum, through the block, off the defense and down, nearly went in to the basketball hoop. Three kills for Chloe now on the day. And now a three-point lead on the ultimate outdoor scoreboard. Unrest, the serve. Belmont cross-court pass to White. Got it off the top of the net, down, but it's wide and the point. Marion Local there, the first to 20, Ottawa Glandorf. No, I thought they were calling. Thought they were calling a timeout. Yeah. She, they're maybe questioning a temp or not. But now yeah. she will take a timeout. Mm -hmm. Maddie Owenstein takes a timeout. We'll step aside as well. 2016. Flyers with the advantage here in set number four on WOSN. Tonight's scoreboard brought to you by Ultimate Outdoor. Bring resort-style living to your backyard every day with a luxury outdoor space by Ultimate Outdoor. Coach Hohenstein uses her second timeout of the set. Got to go with it there, down four. They're going to have to fight through it now. Tipped over by OG into the back row. A running save made by Grace Moeller, but it can't get over. And a lead down to three as Ottawa Glendorf would love to end this in four. They get the point coming out of the timeout. Now they've got to get momentum on their side and go on a run. Mary Local five points away from a set for victory. Dug out. Quick set. Swung on by the Flyers. Bellman. White rolls it over. Unrasked. Rodabom finds an open spot on the floor. Chloe Rodabom with her fourth kill of the match. Two in this set. Both have just happened here in this run by Mary Local, putting them up four. Flyers with the service error, bring the lead back down to three. As Marley Buttlemeyer will check back in the game for OG, as will Kayla Bellman for the first time today. And she'll serve as the Titans trail by three. Tough coming off the bench, having not been in the game, but she does a nice job getting that serve in. Natalie Evers to Brooke Evers, tipped it, kept alive. Titans, Buttlemeyer will swing, knuckleballed it. I don't know that she was trying to do that, but it sure came off the hand and died and found the open spot in the floor. It's a two-point game. Marley Buttlemeyer with her third kill of the day. And they did find the hole in the middle. Marion Locals taking that away in the latter stages of the match. Buttlemeyer had a big smile on her face yeah. after. Like, you know what? I don't know if I could do that again if I tried, but it worked. And we'll take it. They all look like line drive kills in the score box tomorrow. <laughs> that, that they do. They all look like slam dunks. Mm -hmm. Get some new paper, or not paper towels, cloth towels out to mop up the floor. As Kayla Bellman, the junior, one of about 15 juniors on the <laughs> Ottawa Glendorf roster. Goes to serve it away, trailing by two. I think that number is eight as a whole in the varsity roster, but yeah. Brooke Evers' swing, popped alive, and it's into the bleachers. 
And the Flyers now three points away with a three-point lead. Evers with her sixth kill. And Natalie Brooke Evers, I beg your pardon, serving. For the Flyers, we're going to close it out. Bellman, back sets Fry. Or Kimmett, I beg your pardon. Back sets Kimmett, it's in the net. It's a play that's been very effective for OG throughout the match. The slide for Kimmett. Unable to get it over the tape on that one. Four-point lead for the Flyers. Evers serves again. Titans leaping and diving just to keep it alive. They do. Rod a bomb. Natalie Evers. X dive off of Fry and down. And it's set point for Marion Local looking to force a pivotal set five. OG unable to make the pass up to the setter in, in an effective manner. Marion Local takes advantage of the free ball. Evers serving on set point. 24-19. The Flyers. Eckstein into the back row. Bellman, Kimmett, kill. OG's got to climb the mountain now. They get the point to cut it to four. They got to get at least four here on this rotation. Bellman serving. Into the back row. Evers. Moeller climbs the ladder and will play a set five. Ottawa Glandorf won the first two. Marion Local wins the next two. We'll go to set number five in a winner take all when we return here on WOSN. Today's Marion Local Premier Sponsor is OPAC and Osgood for all your industrial painting, standing and assembly needs. Call OPAC. Set number five, Dave Bowen, as we've got a fantastic matchup here inside the hangar between Marion Local and Audubon Landor. It has really been impressive in the sense that OG came out firing right away to take the first two sets, and then Marion Local, as Lee Corso, Corso says, not so fast, my <laughs> friend. They fought back to win the last two. We're going to play to 15, and Getting to that all-important five and 10, and then obviously 15 first. Crucial for momentum, Marion Local's gonna start with the serve. OG won the first two, 25-22. Marion Local won 25-21, it's 25-20. Yeah. As the first point at set number five goes to the Flyers. Grace Muller at the net, not only blocks it, but pushes it in a direction that OG can't find it, gets right down to the wood. My ax time will serve one more time for Marion Local. Turned in one by the Titans. Rachel Keeter will roll it over, but pushed it wide. Great decision. Great decision by our uh, libero, Carly Crawford, right there. Again, she's done it all day long, but that's a tough one to let go by you. Barely out of bounds. Addison Bellman serving. Miscommunication by the Flyers, and it's a 2-1 lead for OG. Titans trying to build some momentum here in set number five after dropping the last two sets. As Bellman sends it away. And it's an ace for Ottawa Landor. Yeah, both teams have done a great job of having a short memory as to what happened in the previous set. We've seen it all day long, a great battle. The OG jumps out to a 3-1 early advantage. Titans with a three and four record. Marion Local six and zero, oh, looking to stay undefeated. Titans would love to end it as the tip down by Natalie Evers. Brooks cuts that lead back down to one. After the kill, Evers serves. Bellman. Kimmett blocked it to that by Grace Moeller, and we're tied at three. Moeller did a great job of just being patient, sensed that it was going to be a soft tip, and then didn't leave her feet as early as if it would have been a hard hit. Excellent athleticism and execution. Bellman swung on by Buttlemeyer, rolls off the tape and down on the very local side. Give the Titans the advantage on the ultimate outdoor scoreboard. Buttlemeyer with her fourth kill of the match. 
A lot of enthusiasm being displayed by both teams, and rightly so. Kimmett serving. Knuckleball. Evers. Rodabom takes a run at it. Popped up into the air, off the rafters. Titans can't chase it down. We're square at four. Again, we said Chloe Ronnebaum did not play early on. She's been recovering from a little bit of illness, but she has made her presence known in the latter half of this match, Garrett. Grace Moeller serving. Melman back sets Fry a big swing and down. Sienna Fry with her 17th kill of the match. None more important than that one to put the Flyers back up by one, five to four. And Maya McLaughlin back to serve for the Titans. Leading 5-4. Into the far corner. Evers, brought a bomb, rejected off the face of Ava Unras, kept it alive as Fry takes it, a hearty cut off the block and down, and the Titans have a two-point lead. Sienna Fry again, she's been swinging from the left side all day. You mentioned it earlier, go to your workhorses, and it's been Fry and Moeller battling it out. Both teams, the setter's gonna continue to look for their best kill, uh, best plays for kills. Lead back down to one. As the timeline here in set five gets just so much accelerated where you might take a timeout much earlier in a set than you would any other time of the night as Ava Unrast pops it over as Fry leaps up off the floor to send it over. Free ball, see it local does with it. Ronabon. Not a free ball. Kept alive. Evers. Brooke Evers off the block and down. That volleyball ended up in the baseball batting cage <laughs> here in the rafters. And we're tied at six. We got another ball ready to go. Assistant athletic director today, Jacob Sherrick, has done an outstanding job. Dan Koenig, the athletic director for Marion Local, watching his daughter play college volleyball today. Rightly so. Back set from Bellman, swung on by Fry with the left hand, and another kill for the junior. 19 kills unofficially. The average is 3.8 kills per set, right at that average today. Here she's, in set number five. She's in the back row now, though. We'll see what the Flyers can do with her back there. Fry into the back row on the serve. Evers. Uh, just a bit too close to the net for Brooke Evers to climb the ladder and try to get her fingertips on. Two-point lead for the Titans at 8-6 on the ultimate outdoor scoreboard. Coach Dirksen encouraging her team. Battle back after that misplay. Evers, Brooke Evers tips it over. Fry the pass. White tries to tip it down, can't. Unrast, the pass to Ronabom, the swing. Dug out by the Titans. Pushed over by White, Both double contact. Our second double contact play of the day. And you could see Ella White was really trying to get into the correct position, but again with that one hand wrap, unable to do it correctly, called for the air. One point advantage for OG. Bellman looking for White. And we're tied at eight. Now we'll get the floor mopped up again. Anna Fry will leave the floor in exchange for Gracie Lommers on for, I believe, the first time today. The sophomore defensive specialist comes in at a pivotal time in this yes. matchup. No pressure. Just tied at eight. And set number five as Chloe Ronabom serves it. Lommers will receive. Yeah, they go right at her. And it's tipped over in two by OG. White in the back row. Pushed it long, and it's now a 9-8 lead. And a timeout call for Ottawa Glandorf. We'll step aside as well. A break in the action and a break here on WOSN. Tonight's scoreboard brought to you by Ultimate Outdoor. Bring resort-style living to your backyard every day with a luxury outdoor space by Ultimate Outdoor. Nine to eight here in set number five. Flyers looking to stay undefeated. Marion Local, or I beg your pardon, out of Landorf would like to end that undefeated streak. 
as the serve sent away by the Flyers. Bellman, quick set, blocked at the net by Marion Local. Got it over the tape somehow, some way. As Crawford able to get it over. Brooke Evers tips it back. And the White joust at the net. Pop back. Ronabom. Unrast rolls it over. Bellman. McKee the swing along. Thought we might have a tip at the net, but we didn't. Mary Local with the point. Mary Local would like to keep Sienna Fry on the bench. Keep this rotation from happening where she can get back to the front. Because if she does, OG just so lethal with her up there hitting. Mary Local going to try and keep that from happening, Garrett. The Titans were the first to five. The Flyers the first to ten. The service error shrinks the lead back to one. And now Carla Crawford. The junior, Libero, sends it away. Had some heat on it as Evers. Looks for Eckstein at blocked at the net. Kept alive, Eckstein one more time. Fry from behind the 10-foot line. The kill, we're square at 10. Great job by OG getting it to Kimmich. She's in the back row. She's legal back there behind the 10-foot line. Nicely done, Kimmich, with her 20th kill. 10-10 to score on the ultimate outdoor scoreboard. Both sides leaving it all on the floor here inside the hangar at Marion Local High School. What a match, Garrett. Just two teams not wanting to give in, doing everything within their power. Ottawa Glendorf won the first two. Marion Local won the second two. And so we are tied up at 10 here in set number five. Carly Crawfus serving for OG. Natalie Evers to Brooke Evers on the swing, off the block. Bellman, quick sets. Kibbit, the point to Ottawa Glendorf at 11 10. Nicely done right there, Caitlin Kimmett with her 15th kill of the day. Both teams are going to get better from this, Absolutely, from this yeah. match. You just want to get better with a W. <laughs> yeah. Ottawa Glendorf looking to even their record at 4-4 four and four, should they grab a victory. Marion Local, as we mentioned, undefeated. Titans 2-0 and oh in the Western Muckaw League. Marion Local 1-0. So, Crawford ready to serve with a one-point lead. Right over the top of the net. Outstanding serve. Next time, pushed it long, and it's a two-point advantage. And that's where we talk about being offensive with your serve. I mean, that is a wicked serve right there. Could go out, but she gets it in, and they get the point. Mary Local unable to recover from that serve. Flyers call a timeout. We'll keep it here. 12 10 the score on the ultimate outdoor scoreboard. As I mentioned, Ottawa Glandorf won the first two 25 22, 25 22. Marion Local, one set three, 25 21, and set four, 25 20. As the Titans now hold a two point advantage here in set number five at 12 10 on the ultimate outdoor scoreboard. And uh, Davis, Catherine Dirksen calls a timeout here. Just a momentum breaker and regroup here at this point in set five. Absolutely. You're down two. You don't want to take them home with you right here. They, they give up another point. She may come right back with another timeout. Uh, I, I, I do. I, that's been a change, too, in volleyball. A lot of coaches would wait until they're at game point behind. Uh, right. Use them early. Give your team a chance to get the momentum back and see how it plays out now. Crawford continues to serve. Three away from the victory. Into the back row and long. The timeout works for the Flyers. They cut the lead to one. Just a hair too far. And now Brooke Evers serving. Rolled it over with the top spin. And we're tied up at 12. Coach Hohenstein thinking about a timeout. She's going to go with a sub instead. Gracie Lommers on the floor. Both teams with one timeout remaining. Evers to serve. Knotted up at 12. 
rolled over. Bellman, quick set, down for Caitlin Kimmett in the lead, back to the visitors. A lethal play, that short set, quick set as you referenced it, Garrett, and then Kimmett, while she's in the air, sensing where the open area is, doesn't go with the power, goes with the finesse, and OG gets the point. The Titan faithful rise to their feet. Brenna Liebrecht serving, one point lead with two points to go. Evers tipped over by Moeller, kept alive by Ottawa Glandorf at the net. Kimmett will try to dump it into campfire. Flyers are ready for it. Next time, free ball over. Bellman, cross court pass to Puddlemeyer off the block, kept alive. Flyers able to bump it back over. Bellman, quick set. Kimmett blocked at the net. Buttlemeyer rolls it long, and we're tied at 13. Molly Buttlemeyer had two hits in that volley. The first one, she went with a lot of power and got it in. That one, she brought the power, and it goes long. Out of a is going to take a timeout. Here tied at 13 apiece here in set number five. We'll step aside as well. The conclusion when we return here on WOSN. spectacular atmosphere here inside the hangar. We're tied at 13 in set number five in a race to 15 with Maya Eckstein serving for Marion Local. Trying to stay undefeated on the season and move to 7-0. The sophomore sends it away. Knuckleball. Bellman. Quick sets. Kimmett got enough of it. It's down and it's match point for the Titans. Again, Caitlin Kimmett doesn't get all of it, doesn't get half of it, but she gets a quarter of it and she gets the point. 14 to 13 on the ultimate outdoor scoreboard. As the Titan faithful trying to will the visitors to a victory, Marion Local will take their final timeout. We'll keep it here. What a fantastic volleyball match today, Dave Bowen. Absolutely, and again, as we said earlier, both teams are going to take a lot of positives away from today's match into their next match. OG, they are at Oregon Clay on Tuesday, and Marion Local, they're going to be right back here at the hangar with Rushi. You grow in these type of situations, this type of atmosphere, and now you can say who wants it more, but... It's going to come down to execution, and it's volleyball. Sometimes that ball just bounces in a direction where you can't get to it as well. Let's see how it plays out. 14-13, out of Glandorf with the lead. They'll serve. They won the first two. Mary Local charged back to win the second two. And now Addison Bellman will serve, trying to close things out for Ottawa Glandorf. Bellman sends it away. Received by the Flyers. Moeller the tip, dug out. OG returns. Cross court pass. Keeter block, it's wide, and we're tied at 14. Sienna Fry gets her hands on it with the block, but she can't turn it in and goes out of bounds harmlessly. And we've got some free volleyball. You got to win by two. The serve from Natalie Evers. Bellman. It's a tough angle for Fry, and now it's match point for Marion Local. OG out of timeouts, Marion Local out of timeouts. It's up to the girls on the floor, Garrett. Natalie Evers, the senior center, sends it away into the back row. Bellman, Kimmett, blocked, down, and we're tied at 15. Mental toughness both ways. Nobody wants to give this one to the other team. You're going to have to earn it. No losers today. you got to go win it. Kim it to serve. Popped up in the air by Unrast. Evers. Radabon will send it over. Free ball for OG. Kim it takes some off of it. Kept alive by the Flyers. Radabon into the back row. Bellman. Fry. Dug out by Keeter. Rodabom, the hardy swing and finds the floor. I would have liked to see Sienna Fry come with the hammer. She doesn't. Floyd Rodabom does. Marion Local with the point. 
It's match point once again for Marion Local. Extra volleyball here at set number five. It's Grace Moeller serving for the win. Helmet. Set. The swing is long, and Marion Local climbs all the way back after falling in the first two sets. They win set number five, 17 15. In a valiant, triumphant return in the final three sets. You have to tip your cap to the Lady Flyers down to zero. No panic, just kept digging. What a victory to remain undefeated. They go to 7 and 0. Both coaches do a great job with their squads. Just at the end, Marion Local, just a little more execution. They come away with the W. As Dave mentioned, the Flyers stay unbeaten 7 and 0 as Ottawa Glendorf drops to 3 and 5 with four of those five losses coming to teams inside the Midwest Athletic Conference. That's a high quality volleyball game that both sides should get some credit for even scheduling, let alone competing in the way they did here this morning, Dave. Yeah, we see the WBL and the MAC, they do come uh, uh, into non-league action a lot, and this was just another chapter in that rivalry. Again, both teams gonna take a lot of positives away from today. OG, just some hard luck, a little more senior experience maybe on Marion Local's side of the net comes into play, and they come away with the victory. Ottawa Glandorf won the first two by identical scores, 25-22. Marion Local, one set three, 25-21. They take set four, 25-20, and we play extras in set number five, and the Flyers win on their home floor, 17-15 in set number five. That will do it from us here at the hangar for our entire WOSN crew. And Dave Bowen, I'm Garrett Seawright saying so long. We'll catch you next time right here on WOSN.